everybody. How y'all doing? Vinyl community? It's me, Rob from Boston. Uh, please allow me to do my awesome, well, I guess you can call it terrible intro. Hope you're all doing good and hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I'm uh, here to do a vinyl, all new vinyl finds. Finally. Um, yeah, apologize for not doing as many videos as I should be doing. Um, been watching a ton of videos. Uh, geez, there's been a lot of people showing their record store day finds, which is the theme behind me today. Various records from various record store days, uh, through the years. I will be, um... Doing another Record Store Day video soon. But let's get to this. First, I want to thank Mike, fellow VC member, Mike, the oral retentive Mike. Saw Teddy today do a new video. Teddy was back doing a great video. Ah, the vibe has been just, just great in the vinyl community. Everybody's supporting one another. I've been working uh, seven days a week. Uh, working my full-time job and on weekends I started a small business uh, actually started it a few years ago but it's just picking up I'm getting more and more yards I'm doing landscaping mostly raking um, bushes you know leaves uh, cleaning up and stuff like that and I also do some landscaping as well but uh, also self-taught but um, started by a mailman coming to my house one of my mailmen looking at my lawn and asking me how I got it green and I told him and then from there he told someone else and that's how it sort of all started but just thought I'd mention it but back to Mike he was generous enough to send me this beautiful um, I guess you'd call it the Endless Summer uh, poster or logo from the movie Endless Summer but it's been in various I'm using it in my avatar and Mike did this out of another one of his artworks out of vinyl records uh, I'll try to get it so you can see the, the tracks. It's very hard to do. It's a sunny day, and I just can't seem to get it, but everything's made out of records. Maybe you can see it in the other one. Uh, this is the one that Bill Helmetiggy, how you doing, Bill? Generously sent me two that Mike made. Uh, geez, I'm not... Yeah, you might be able to see the tracking there a little bit. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. The The... It looks fuzzy to me, the screen. It's it's making me, it's annoying me. I'm getting annoyed. Uh, but Bill sent me this one. In my last video I showed it, Mike sent me this one. So Mike, I really appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. And I'm in the process of doing more packages. I keep saying that in all my videos. But Klaus, your, your package is almost done. And I got some going out to various vinyl community members who have sent me packages in the last year. Plus, I picked up LJ something at Record Store Day. Hi, LJ. Uh, he asked me to get him something. I get one other VC member a Record Store Day gift. So let's get to the record. Sorry, three minutes. Jeez, man. Falling behind. Okay, the Smiths. The old guard tapes. Uh, numbered illegitimate pressings. Why do I feel like I'm so far away? Oh, time out. I want to show you something else that someone sent me. Uh, this is... This is from Bill, as I mentioned, Helmet Diggy. He sent me this, uh, and I showed it in my last video, James Montgomery. And why is this bugging me? It's so bright. Um, and then, yeah, this is Paragon Park's roller coaster. Sorry, guys. It's very unprofessional. Paragon Park's roller coaster, uh, the giant coaster, and... This is this was dismantled in 1986 in Hull, Massachusetts, and it got moved in 1987 to Maryland. But yeah, just wanted to show the frame. What happened to my music? There it is. All right, back to the vinyl. Sorry, everybody. Old guard tapes, the Smiths. Uh, just you know, outtakes. They've been repressed these a zillion times. These are numbered, colored vinyl. My other copy I had was damaged, so I asked the guy if he could send me two new ones, and he did. Okay, uh, I picked up the Shags. 
in Newberry Comics pressing. I think Randy, in Dead Wax 66, I think he sent it to Andy, a copy of it to Andy, if I'm not mistaken. VCLT, and, and you know, it's one of those cult records that, this is Green Vinyls 300 Press, that um, you gotta listen to the whole thing. And really, like, let it sink in, because it's it's different. It's good, you know? You'll like it, check it out. Um, I got the Gabriel, I had, I had us, I'm sorry, I had up on, on vinyl already, but these, the regular pressing, the original pressing, these are the reissues up and us. You know, some people aren't really happy about these, the pressing, I thought they sound good, and I wanted to get them because I love Peter Gabriel. I got the Molly, um, tricolor, Bob Molly legend with the extra tracks. Love Bob Molly, and this has been sitting there staring at me in the record store, and, and I finally got it. Uh, Mike A, another Mike in the Vinyl community. Hey, Mike. Check out Mike's channel, too. I'll put uh, links down. He, he tuned me into the Burroughs releases. I'm a big fan of William Burroughs, and the dub one's very cool, this one here, but... I had a chance to meet him once. A uh, buddy of mine owned a record, uh, owned a magazine store in, on in Copley Square in Boston called um, Glad Day. Burroughs came in, and he called me to tell me that he was there. And by the time I got back there on the train, he had left. But I did get to see the pictures. And I think a year after that, he passed away. So I never got to meet Burroughs, and I would have loved to. Okay, here's a few goodwill uh, finds. Okay, Wetton in Manzanera. Oh, I got some good jazz finds, too, to show you. Uh, yeah, stick with me. Um, uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, Manzanera, John Wetton, King Crimson, uh, History, Asia, I think. Um, uh, Manzanera. Played with a lot of people, including Roxy Music. I think he produced the new Pink Floyd album. Haven't listened to this yet. I have no idea what it sounds like. It was a dollar. James might know that. Man, do I love James's videos. Um, I don't know why I thought you'd know that, James, but your knowledge is immense. So This is King Crimson, Starless, and the Bible Black. Great album. It had a little punch. I love the early Crimson albums, but um, I like that 80s period better when Tony Levin came in. and I mean, when uh, Blue Levin, Fripp, and... Um, who am I leaving out? Bill Bruford came in. Loved that period. Discipline on. Uh, the Roaches. Don't know anything. Haven't heard this. I know they were folky, but this was a dollar, so I figured I'd give it a listen. Zebra. Uh, this band was a rock band uh, out of New York City, I think, or New York, maybe Long Island. Really good stuff. It had a Zeppelinist vibe to it, as uh, any Mighty Blimp fans will know. Vance and Mike, you know, anyone who listens to the, loves the Mighty Blip, Paul, Corey, all of us, I guess, you know, would dig this. The Blessing, I have no idea um, about these guys, it's a metal album, like a metal band, I guess, or a rock band, it looks metal to me, it's an EP, haven't opened it, it came sealed, Cat Stevens, Teaser and the Fire Cat, I already had this, but I figured I'd pick it up if anyone needs it, uh, cool story about this album, when I was a kid, my cousin was babysitting me. I was about 10. And uh, she had just bought this album, and she was playing it. And I was just, you know, taken back. Is that the right word? I was really digging it. And uh, Side 2 especially. You know, it's just a, just a really good album. Fantastic music. So I listened to it all weekend instead of going out and playing basketball with, with her husband. And I stayed in, and I just kept listening over and over again. She ended up giving me the copy that she had bought. But this is another one that I got at Goodwill. The Jags, I don't know anything about these guys. I figured I'd give it a whirl. If anyone knows about these guys, give me a holler. Uh, Living Color, Vivid. I've sh I have this, I believe. But this may be a replacement copy because mine's not that great. Great band. I saw them with King Crimson a couple of years ago at the Beacon in New York. They were dynamite. And I found this Grateful Dead album. I'm very, very surprised to see the Grateful Dead at Goodwill, but it came with this 3-inch CD uh, in a crappy, like, uh, out-of-sleeve, um, you know, the 
the sleeves that you buy. Boy, I feel like I'm going so fast in this video. All right, couple more painless, couple more cool ones. Um, Don Cherry, the very first uh, uh, actual BYG. Um, I love this label. I was telling a few VC members that I was trying to get all of the actual releases. And I love Dawn Cherry, but I just started this thing. I think I'll get all the actual releases. Forget about it. They're so hard to find in the record stores. I mean, really hard to find in the record stores. You never find them. So you'd have to buy them all online, and that's even tough to find. So, tough to find them. But, oh man, I love this label. Love this record. Uh, Joe Farrell Quartet. And I have to apologize for the person who did show this on CTI. Um, because I forget who showed it, but look at the lineup. Chick Corea Piano, Jack G's Jeanette Drums, Dave Hall on bass, John McLaughlin Guitar. What a killer! And the album is fantastic. If you want to hear a great album. The seller I got this from, for a good price, gave me the CTI sleeve separately. So I thought that was neat, you know? I love the, uh, I love the CTI label. Now that's a cool label. I guess. Does anyone else like it? All right, just a few more. I think of Vinyl Richie whenever I buy punk records, which I don't very often, but he did a video the other day showing him he was driving around Hollywood. Um, royalty, man, we got Vinyl Richie in the vinyl community. I mean, that's cool. This is Gang Green, Another Wasted Night. He used to have this record a long time ago, and something happened to it. I probably loaned it out, but this is an original pressing on Tang. Um, tried, I had to get it back. Love the Tang Records label. And this came inside, shows some of the other albums, Slapshot. You know, when I saw this, Last Stand, there you go. Great bands. When I saw this inside, it made me skeptical on if this was an original pressing or not. So I'm going to have to research that. I thought it was. I guess some of us are all about original pressings, you know, but yeah, Gang Green, Alcohol was a huge hit for them, and they recorded this in Massachusetts, love the band, they're great, I've seen them a few times, I actually knew a couple of these guys from other bands, when I was playing in bands, alright, uh, which I miss, I wish I could do it again, but I'm not that good, um, Dead Kennedys, this is the last one uh, on Alternative Tentacles. A long time, uh, I wanted to get this and put it in my collection. It's fresh fruit variety and vegetables. And it's all intact, beautiful condition. Getting hard to find. Uh, comes with the poster. I'm not going to take it out, but I think we all know what it looks like. Anyone who, who knows the Dead Kennedys, you know, it's got a, a whole bunch of stuff on it. I love this label. This is a cool label. So that's my update. I hope you all dug it. I uh, was supposed to be getting together, me and um, back to uh, Bill Helmet Diggy, and I think Stavros and a few others. I spoke to. I think I spoke to LJ about it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, and a couple other people, Tom FXP. So I think the date is the 10th of December. I'm going to try to get it uh, in cement, Bill. I'll work with you on it. Hopefully we'll get to see each other. All get to see each other. It'll be a nice little get together. New England style. Final community. So love to all of you. Love to hear from you. Uh, thank you to my new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry if I haven't subscribed back, but I will. And that's it. I'll see you in your videos. Just keep the good vibe going in the VC. VC forever. Love to all of you. Send me some uh, comment. Send me a note. I'd love to hear from you. All right. Bye bye, everyone, and thank you.